Okay, Doc Walton, so this is magnetic resonant coupling. Now, uh, traditionally we think that uh, you can't pass electricity over space, right? Free space, which is what we have here. There's nothing, the table's not conductive or anything like that. But what I've got here is I've got two coils, and both of these coils are what we call resonant. So it means that they vibrate at a particular natural frequency. So on this side I've got a driver circuit. It's just a pair of cross-coupled uh, transistors by uh, capacitors cross-coupled. And I've got a tune circuit here, and I've got a tune circuit here. But just for interest, I've put an electric motor on the end so that we can see it rather than an LED like we normally see. Now, I've got about 12 volts going in, so if I put an output on this, so I'm drawing about an amp and a half now here, these are going to start to get slightly warm. I think the circuit is resonating about 350 kilohertz, something like that. But the transistors are reasonably cool at the moment. Now, some of you may laugh, but if uh, that propeller goes round, right, that means I'm sending power from here to here, right? How about that? Look at that. So I can put that on the edge of the table. Let's put it on a bit of blue tack so I don't have to hold it all the time. Let's bring in the, uh, the resonator, or the oscillator run. Look at that. Isn't that clever? So what's happening there? Well, this has a natural resonant frequency, this has a natural resonant frequency. And it's a bit like if you blow over the top of a milk pot, you get a, a, a frequency coming out of it. But more surprisingly, if you have a milk bottle next door, the milk bottle will also oscillate as well. Or two guitars in a room. Pluck one of the strings on one guitar, and if the other guitar is tuned the same, the other guitar will start to oscillate at the same frequency. It's exactly what's happening here. So we're getting, we're generating a wave inside here. I think it's about 350 kilos. I haven't mentioned it recently. But you're generating the wave inside here, and this one is sympathetically vibrating because it vibrates at exactly the same frequency. It's nothing more than a radio transmitter. So this is transmitting RF from here, and this is receiving the RF from here. The only real difference in receiving RF is actually this is near field because the wave hasn't had chance to flatten out enough, so what the receiver is seeing is a kind of rounded waveform. Um, and a rounded wave front. Now, all right, I could get RF burns and all the rest of it, but I'm not going to at this kind of power. But you'll see it passes through no problem at all. Look, I'm not slowing that down at all. I could put a book in the front there. If I put a sheet of metal, it would stop it. Um, Mike, you had a probe there. You were going to do a little experiment. So, you can measure its resonance frequency. Um, what? Come and do it. So, let's have a look at what frequency this is resonating at. So let's get the uh, oscilloscope in view. So we're on the transmit side. This is a centrally tapped coil. So we go into the centre of three turns. So the centre of two turns. So we might check the probes on there. Ground, I think. There we are, got a waveform on there. We've got the glasses, Mike, so I can jump down this. Oh, well, come on, you can do it. I've got my finger on the coil, so I'm going to get an RF burn after a while. I can't get that to stand there. I'm not on the clean shore. Really. There's nothing underneath the power. The transistor's getting hot. That's okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, viewers, so here we go in. Just playing about with the time base a little bit. Road and short, you love them. Uh, you love yeah. them. Here we go. See, so you found the time base at last. Okay, let's put a measurement on the other one. Uh, where do we find that on the road and short? Measure button. 
measurement and we will do a tight measurement we will measure the frequency and we are looking at 657.3 kilohertz okay so 650 kilohertz give or take a, a tiny tiny bit okay